Hello and welcome everyone to Learning English Podcast, the ultimate destination for English learners and enthusiasts alike. I'm Jennifer, and today we're tackling a crucial question. Why is learning English often a road filled with obstacles? In our global village, English is more than just a language. It's a bridge connecting cultures, ideas, and people. Yet for so many, this bridge seems to be made of ropes and planks swinging precariously over a chasm of confusion and challenges. Why do some sail across with ease while others find themselves clinging on for dear life? Is it the labyrinthine grammar with its twists and turns that bewilders us or perhaps the vast ocean of vocabulary where words can have many meanings and synonyms abound like fish in the sea? Could it be the tricky pronunciation where the same letters dance to different tunes, leaving us unsure of our footing? Or is it something deeper, something within us? A fear of making mistakes, a wavering motivation, or a set of unrealistic expectations. In this episode, we're going to explore all these facets, unraveling the complexities and discovering the keys to not just learning English, but mastering it, enjoying it, and making it our own. So whether you're a beginner feeling lost in the wilderness of English, an intermediate learner navigating its hills and valleys, or an advanced speaker looking to refine your skills and conquer its peaks, this episode is for you. English with its global presence, seems like it should be easy to learn, right? Well, not quite. Let's start with grammar. English grammar is notorious for its intricate rules and countless exceptions and irregular verbs that defy logic to the conundrum of articles. But the intricacies don't stop there. English is a language of immense vocabulary. There are words for virtually everything, and often there are several words for the same thing, each with a subtly different shade of meaning. This can be a minefield for learners trying to pick the exact right word in a conversation or while writing. Then we come to pronunciation and accents. English is spoken differently in different parts of the world. The way words are pronounced in the UK can vastly differ from how they're spoken in the USA or Australia, not to mention the diverse range of accents within these countries. This variability can be perplexing for learners trying to nail down pronunciation. And how can we forget about idioms and slang? English is peppered with these. Phrases like beating around the bush or spill the beans, they don't mean what they literally suggest. For someone new to the language, this can be incredibly confusing. Beyond the tangible aspects of the language, there are invisible barriers too. First and foremost is the fear of making mistakes. This fear can paralyze learners, stopping them from practicing speaking, which is essential for improvement. Motivation, or the lack thereof, is another significant barrier. If learning English feels like a core, or if it seems irrelevant, maintaining motivation becomes a Herculean task. Many learners start with a burst of enthusiasm, expecting rapid progress. When reality hits and they realize learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint, it can lead to frustration and disillusionment. Now let's consider the role of environment and society. Immersion is often touted as the best way to learn a language. However, not everyone has the opportunity to immerse themselves in an English-speaking environment. This lack of daily exposure can slow down the learning process significantly. Access to resources is another challenge. While the internet has made learning materials more accessible, quality varies, and not everyone has the same level of access or the ability to discern effective resources from ineffective ones. Teaching methods play a crucial role too. Traditional approaches often focus more on grammatical rules 
and written exercises, neglecting the practical, conversational aspect of the language, this can leave learners well-versed in textbook English but ill-prepared for real-world interactions. So how do we tackle these obstacles? It starts with mindset, adopting a growth mindset where mistakes are viewed as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks can transform your learning experience. Effective learning strategies are key. Immersive methods like watching English movies, listening to music, and engaging in conversations, even if it's just online, can be immensely helpful. Technology plays a vital role here. Language learning apps, online courses, and forums provide valuable resources and communities for learners. And speaking of resources, the world is your oyster. There are innumerable books, podcasts, websites, and apps dedicated to English learning. The trick is to find the ones that resonate with your learning style and stick with them. In conclusion, while learning English can be fraught with challenges, It's also a journey filled with discovery and growth. The key is perseverance, patience, and the right approach. Thank you for tuning in. We hope this episode has provided you with valuable insights and inspiration on your English learning journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing.